Today we're going to be trying to figure out the best placement for the actual shotgun microphone. Four different positions as far as how to place the microphone and which one of those positions would be the best placement for the actual microphone. Uh, the microphones we're going to be talking about is the actual shotgun microphone. Um, I already currently have it set up to my favorite position. Uh, the way that shotgun microphones uh, generally work, they are unidirectional. This one's directly right above me. It's about like maybe, I'm going to say about two, three feet away from my actual face. Um, the actual camera doesn't get it because I angled it right along with my lights, my left, my right light, and the top light. Uh, as you can see, uh, with all the lights and everything, I don't get a shadow um, as far as the actual microphones. Visibly see it in the actual picture that I'm getting. So, we're going to go through four different positions and I'm going to be going through four types of different audio. I'm going to be measuring to see how the audio looks, where it's peaking, or what am I looking for as far as my audio. Position number one, microphone above head pointing down at the head. We're going to see why this audio uh, is, we're going to see how this audio is going to change. We're going to see how the sound's going to change, the quality of the audio. If I wasn't a one-man band and I had somebody else in the boom pole, uh, they can actually measure the actual decibels and they would be able to come around and either move up or move down or just kind of move the actual boom pole to actually move the shotgun microphone to the actual position that they see that they're getting the best actual sound. And then they could go and troubleshoot and go along as needed in real life but since it's just me it's a one-man band I have my microphone already set up it's already here I try not to move because if I do I get different type of audio and you can hear that I went to the left then I going I'm going to the right the audio is actually uh, picking up anything that's kind of bouncing off the walls and but a secondary person that's their main job to actually hold the boom and put the microphone directly in the position that they want. So if I start moving to the left, I have them following me with the actual audio and if he doesn't move, then I come back to this position and my audio is all wonky. So I just moved it over and I kept it at the position that I want and I have the audio that I needed. So with me moving back and forth, coming around, it affects the audio. So having placement and actually you keeping your position as far as placement is really important for the actual shotgun microphone. Because if you move around, so does the audio, and then the boom has to move around with you in order for it to keep the position, to keep it from anywhere from six decibels to 12, negative six decibels to negative 12 decibels is is the best position that you want to keep your audio at. So, with that being said, uh, the first position is going to be vertically facing, pointing at my head, coming straight down, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen this up, bring the boom directly on top of me, facing up, coming down towards my head. Okay, so that is actually the microphone, um, and it's right directly on top of my head. I'm going to be talking about the position that we have it right now. It's uh, on top of my head, it's uh, facing down, and uh, I'm right underneath it. Uh, I can't hear my audio as crisp as it was earlier when it was like uh, facing my torso, and around my torso, uh, and around this area uh, closer to the mouth. This general area is the actual bull bullseye that you want to shoot for. Um, I don't hear it as crisp and as direct as I was earlier. It sounds, uh, it, it doesn't sound as clean. And it takes a while for my actual audio to reach the actual mic. And I think it's because it's bouncing off the walls and it's going up or not, not really sure what it is, but it, it just doesn't sound right. Um, so this would be one of those things uh, don't do that don't face your boom mic directly on top of your head coming vertically down um, it doesn't get you as 
good, as clean audio as you would want. The second position that we're going to, so we're gonna point the mic directly at the mouth and we're gonna see exactly how that differs in comparison to the other one. So this is me talking directly into the mic, but I'm going to um, loosen this up and I'm gonna take my actual uh, light stand, I'm gonna put it down. Okay, so I am still, it's not facing my mouth, it's actually facing my fo my forehead and this sounds also doesn't sound as crisp as it was earlier uh, but it sounds really really weird and muffly it doesn't sound as clean as earlier maybe I'm getting used to actually hearing good clean audio that this is like mmm need some work but I definitely want it pointing at my mouth to get this second position uh, so I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit more. Okay, so it is directly pointed at my mouth, like right in front of it. Um, it sounds a little bit, a little bit off. Um, it should be a little bit higher, like right there. Uh, I do see that the, the level is a little bit spiking. Um, being on top of my head as first position didn't sound as crisp. This sounds a little bit too crisp. Maybe being a shotgun microphone, uh, it, it had something to do with that. <laughs> uh, mic slightly above the head, pointed down towards the chest. This is what we consider optional placement at the solar plexus. Cool. So the third position is um, the most, uh, I find this, not as sharp as the actual uh, one facing directly um, at my mouth, uh, pointed at my mouth. Uh, the actual sound sounds really crisp, really nice, very pleasing. You can tell exactly what I'm saying. There's no, um, there's, there's nothing wrong with the audio at this position. So we're gonna try out one more position and basically, It'll tell you, it'll show you the actual levels of sound that you want or where would you point your shotgun microphone and then how to actually correctly point it at. But I, I, I have no issues with this position. This is the most crisp position. It, it sounds good. It's not capturing as much uh, sound. Um, ain't none of the ambient noise or anything like that is actually... Uh, being trapped into the microphone. I, I, I like the way it sounds. Uh, the only thing uh, is if I have to move it or do anything to it. <clears throat> so position number three takes the cake as far as uh, all the other positions right now. Uh, we have one more position to check out and uh, let's go ahead and do that one. From this point forward, from your actual torso going down towards the shins, um, this one would be uh, one of my easier setups because all I have to do, uh, I don't have to um, raise the actual head. I just have to bring it over, tighten it up, and I can push back from here. Push back and pull as needed. And I have this um, facing down. Um, and it's, uh, as you can hear, like, uh, the sound drops, um, it's barely catching anything, and, uh, I'm even gonna try to elevate the sound, but the sound is horrible, especially if you're shooting with a shotgun microphone, uh, this is not a position that you would definitely want to, um, go out and shoot in, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so we went through four different positions. Um, the first two, first one wasn't as crisp. The second one was really crisp. Uh, the third one was optimal. And the last one is just, it's not even crisp and it's uh, catching the sound very muffly. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this at all.
if I didn't have my headphones and I was just talking normally, I would think that I'm like, wow, okay, so I don't know what's going on without the actual uh, headphones. The actual headphones tell me to adjust my level of uh, <clears throat> talking. It makes me go either a little higher or a little lower depending on like the quality that I'm seeing. I just, I wouldn't, um, I don't even want to remember <laughs> this. I want to remember, right? Uh, if you remember wrong or stuff like that, you're like, okay, that's the wrong way to do it. But if you know the optimal position as far as your microphone, you just always do it right. I'm gonna put this back to its final position. Uh, I'm gonna go over through a little bit of my conclusion as far as my findings uh, through these uh, four positions. And then uh, definitely I'm gonna check my audio, see how much it changed. Uh, yeah, definitely I like the way this, this is sounding, but uh, I kind of put it a little bit lower. Just minor adjustments and stuff. Maybe I adjusted it a little bit higher, but uh, it's a little bit too close. Okay, so this is the, the better sounding um, audio. I like the way this looks. Uh, I, I like the way this uh, sounds. It sounds really crisp, uh, really nice. I just have minor adjustments because I'm the only guy on the pole, the boom pole. Yeah, I like the way this sound uh, sounds. Uh, we went through three, we went through four different positions. At this point, uh, I know that my audio is really clean. I can go ahead and take off my headphones. <clears throat> so the main reason you would pull out your headphones is to actually check your sound quality. Uh, once you have your sound quality or the quality that you actually want, you go ahead and you just start doing um, your actual uh, filming. And then you would go into the actual lighting and stuff like that. So I got my lighting down, I got my angles right, I got the angles that I wanted and it took me a long time to actually prepare but today we're going through actual sound uh, we went through four different positions um, the first position was actually facing the head at a vertical angle from the top um, going down um, that first position I didn't like it at all um, it wasn't as sharp um, you could hear a lot of ambient noise delay uh, most people would be like oh well he has a delay maybe it's the, the YouTube or it's maybe my connection and stuff like that. But I knew that it was my delay uh, from my audio coming out to me listening to the audio. The second position was the actual microphone being directly placed on my mouth uh, at a straight angle, uh, going um, at my mouth level, directly in front of my mouth. It was a bit too crisp, it peaked a lot. Um, I didn't like the actual peaking at any like moment when you start a conversation or you I was getting a headache because uh, the, the peaking was like pretty sharp especially when you have uh, uh, a headset on you can clearly hear the audio as it co is coming in raw so it was just a little bit too too much and so I wouldn't point especially a shotgun microphone directly at anybody's mouth uh, the third position which is the actual solar plexus. Uh, it's the best position. The audio is not too crisp or not too dull and it's just right. And that's what you want. You want, you want to hear what the actor, you want to hear what your talent has to say. You have to hear what yourself, yourself, if you're the talent, like right now, I definitely, when I get down to the editing, I want to hear what I'm saying. If I didn't capture the audio that I wanted at the time that I was doing it, I would have to come back and do over. And not only that, I can do a voiceover, but it's just time and it takes time from other things that I want to accomplish during the day. The fourth one, um, it was from my actual solar plex or the actual chest cavity uh, going down to the shins. Um, that was not even, it, it wasn't, it wasn't crisp, it was more muffly. It sounded very like weak, like the sound wasn't even uh, getting to the microphone. The shotgun microphone is a very straightforward, um, so you want your subject being here in the microphone as directly as possible, um, going through these vertical axes around your your chest area not earlier I was saying kind of where the mouth is at but the mouth is too much it's kind of around this area here 
um, coming up this area was way too crisp and I tried it like kind of where like my eyes are at I, I, I divided my body until like I, I had imaginary lines going up uh, as far as my eyes and stuff like in this general area to this area and it was kind of the same and it was pretty sharp once you go above this area it's not as sharp it's a little bit more <clears throat> takes a while there's a delay and then here's where you get your main sharp area and then right here is where you get the better then then going down from here you would get a more of a muffle and the muffle doesn't catch it doesn't even go anywhere to negative 12 or negative 6 decibels it, it goes under a negative 12 uh, it's fairly weak um, definitely you want a stronger but not so strong that it peaks all the time that you have to do audio corrections on your entire audio so with that being said the actual best position to actually have your audio would be around this area where generally coming down from the the chin around the chest area where the solar plex is up and up but even then with that being said um, I don't want to tell you that it's guaranteed for everybody uh, say you have a six foot guy and his solar plex is like the size of my head coming down to my thing and it, he just has like big and then I was like well that one guy told me that it's between the solar plex uh, yes it is between the solar plex with me but if I was the boom guy I would have my headphones on I would have my microphone and I would kind of see where this guy's like sweet spot is at especially I would give him a couple lines and tell him hey can you give me a couple lines and then I would see where the actual area that I want to shoot at. Other filmmakers in the film industry um, use these techniques but they also adjust them as they feel like they have to adjust them as needed. Today we're definitely tried out four different positions. We found out what was working, what didn't work. Mm -hmm.